I used to play a lot of Harvest Moon as a kid. A lot of Harvest Moon. I don't know if you can have an unhealthy amount of playtime on those games, but if you can, I certainly did. I had all the Wii games, I emulated the GBA one, don't worry, I bought an official version so I could say that, and I loved any game like it, especially the Rune Factory games. If you've never picked them up, especially for the Wii, I recommend you do. And Stardew managed to make me feel like a kid again. It was was genuinely refreshing playing a game like Stardew, especially since the Harvest Moon games haven't been that good. And if you've never tried Stardew Valley, I recommend you do. It's relatively cheap on Steam and it's amazing. It isn't my favorite game, I hadn't picked it up again until recently, but there's a reason it became such a smash hit. It also has a pretty solid community, I haven't heard anything bad from its creator. The fandom's pretty chill and accepting, and shipping wars aren't going on every hour. <laughs> but one of the weirdest aspects of Stardew to me, especially since it's one of the only real negative aspects of the community, is the modding scene. Now almost every popular game has a modding scene, and for the most part it's fine, cheating mods, extra content, sprite changers, stuff like that. But then you get into the more questionable stuff, and by questionable I mean either flat out bigotry or just weird fetish stuff. The wholesome game like Stardew shouldn't have to deal with, stuff like whitewashing the two non-white characters in the game, or making the bachelorettes buff, or making all of the NPCs fat, or other stuff like that. It's honestly disturbing how much there is. Why make a video about it? I don't really know. It started off as me making a joke about a friend who was playing the game, and I said, oh you're racist cause Stardew Valley is a racist game, and I decided to look up Stardew racist to like feed into the joke. But then I found a reddit post about a bunch of whitewashing mods for the game and I was like oh boy. <laughs> and it's really funny because the game has a grand total of like two not white characters and one of them is like mixed <laughs> so it's like oh, 1.5 not white characters in a game with like 38 characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It was certainly interesting to look over, and there's two separate mods I found, one for Maru and one for Demetrius, but if you thought the mods themselves were bad enough, you should look at the comments because oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> They're really dumb. <laughs> Some personal highlights from the White Demetrius mod include, I like this, damn to diversity, my favorite mod, now I can play the game, <laughs> diversity hires seething right now, stay safe fam, love from Germany, and thank you for this, I can finally fully enjoy the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> but my personal favorite was from the creator, who was complaining about the rude comments calling him a racist and he said he didn't make this mod to get rid of the diversity, but then says how Stardew is supposed to be an escape for him. So are there no minorities in your escape fantasy? Like, what other way can you take that comment? Also, I'm heartbroken when I say this, but the white Demetrius mod doesn't work anymore. I tried to use it, but apparently the file doesn't exist anymore. All the other mods I tried out worked, so I don't know if I did something wrong or not, but I guess white Demetrius will always be a what could have been, a what could have been white, <laughs> what could have been white. Uh, white Maru isn't much better to be fair, with highlights such as, finally another quality mod for my game. <laughs> Thank you for the improvement. Needs the bigger breasts updated version. Still good though. Amazing mod. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> it also has some forums made about it. With my favorite one being, why in the name of God would you do this? And all the other forums are like, this is racist or this is a racist. Alongside with that, I found discussions on Steam from people who were complaining about how all the bachelors and bachelorettes can be gay and if there was a way to mod it out. If you don't know all the characters in Stardew, you can marry as either gender and they're bi. I think it's lazy, they could have just made a few select people buy for realism, I guess, but it doesn't really matter or affect the game at all. But there are people out there, among us, who are demanding for a way to remove this 
awful feature when you don't have to be gay you're not forced to be gay you can completely ignore marrying the same gender so <laughs> it's weird and there are so many other weird mods out there it's disturbing some of which i can't show you because of nsfw reasons there's sex mods fuda mods fart mods uh it's disturbing how much fetish stuff there is out there my personal favorite one is the penny female muscles fart scat penis mod i am not joking this is real this is a real mod you can find on nexus at least this time the comments are full of people who find this funny and aren't like finally the mod for me i can finally play the game now <laughs> there's a mod that turns pam the evil mom into a hot one which to be straight for a moment i always felt like it was unfair that we got dilfs in the game but never milfs i feel like this mod should be made canon to balance everything out there's the monster girls and men mod which makes the animals nude versions of themselves obviously i will not show the nudes for obvious reasons but I just know it's a thing my personal favorite nsfw mod is it because of the mod itself but because of the creator they went on some article and acted like their mod was better and they were better than the other sex mods out there despite making smut like they do <laughs> just because it was for men like why like there are so many nsfw mods out there you aren't special and if you're making them for a wholesome pixelated farming game maybe that's a problem why are you turning this game into a kink it's weird and that's not even the worst of it there's an fmg mod that's the fetish where people like buff women and it only affects four of the women in the game which kind of feels like a cop out but the mod isn't only cosmetic it can completely changes the characters into completely different roided out monsters who only really care about muscle. They also have really creepy introduction descriptions to them all. I don't know if I should show them, let alone say them, but they're there and it's really uncomfortable to read through. The last mod I'm going to talk about before I go cry is a mod I can't even download anymore. It's the Yandere Jazz mod. Now you might say Yandere, that isn't really that bad. It is a great, but Yandere characters are becoming more and more popular and it's taken over sites like Wattpad and while true if you didn't know Jas is a child in the game one of the only two now you never learn the exact ages of characters in the game the only real thing age-wise you're given in the game is some random secret that some of the men are considered older but they never go into detail on what that means but Jas is like age range 8 through 10 maybe 11 if you're really pushing it and you would have to really push if you wanted to say that not that mattered because still a child but it doesn't add at all she really likes you or stalks your character highlights from the mod include her brutally murdering some random lady off screen she tries to drown penny at one point yeah the mod just says hey this 10 year old is going to drown this 20 year old <laughs> it's really dumb it's also funny because like i'm pretty sure she would drown in that water also did i mention how you could not only marry jess you know the 10 year old but you can have multiple kids with her too 10 out of 10 perfect mod i can finally play the game like the developer intended <laughs> so funny it's so dumb. Thankfully, this mod is gone. Like, gone, gone. I can't find it anywhere. I couldn't find a download. I couldn't even find a page. If you've noticed, I'm only showing footage because another YouTuber played through it, who I will link to. I mean, if you did enough digging, you could probably find it out there somewhere. But God knows I'm not going to. At the end of the day, what did we learn? Nothing really. God is dead and we killed him. But hey, at least I can play the game now. <laughs> at least I can play the game like like i wanted to with buff women child marriage no minorities <laughs> the perfect game don't go harass anyone it's unnecessary and a lot of these are old like from years ago i just thought it would be funny to go through them again don't go harass people they might have changed Maybe not, probably not in all honesty, but still don't go do that. All of these mods were from Nexus. It's a modding website that I recommend you use if there is a Steam Workshop for a game. Don't use it for child marriage or racism, but other than that, that's pretty cool.
As always, I want to thank my members too. The support means a lot. Their names will be in the description as well. With a special thank you to... Uh, let me grab it real quick. <laughs> Sinif Productions, First Spectre, Steely, Sympathidilis, Jennifer Green, Waffly Waffles, and Ura Marine Corps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.